Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. It's Ephesians 6 verse 13. Therefore put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger and having done everything that the crisis demands to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. We're on the theme of um, the battle of altars and today we're looking at Just what it means to stand firm in your everyday life. Um, When you are in your journey and once you decide once and for all to really take this journey up with God and really pursue God and walk with him and hold on to his promises, you are going to face resistance from the opposing team, obviously, the kingdom of darkness. You are going to face, um, you know, an increasing resistance to a point where if you're not constantly reminding yourself of the word of God and what the word says about these situations, you might begin to think that maybe your prayers don't work. Maybe God isn't helping you after all. If you're not, this is why we need to be meditating on the word of God day and night, because we need to constantly stay reminded because we're not with God physically. So we need to remember what he said in his word in order to stand still and in order to keep, um, you know, be clear on, on what he promised us. Because the enemy will argue. Remember, he did convince Eve um, that, you know, did God really say that he will die? That That's what the devil does. He will come to you and say, did God really say he will prosper you? Um, look at all these other people around you. Does it look like he's prospered them? He's, he's very good. He's very... Um, um, you know, is a very convincing, is a very persuasive uh, being. The devil never ever underestimate the power of his persuasiveness. Sometimes, you, you just think of the times you've decided to do something. Let me give an example of praying and fasting. The number of people that message me, um, or even privately, or or write in the comment section that you know they find uh, prayer and fasting a struggle. Um, you know, and I've testified to that that you you can go on diet easily. Even if it decided to go on a water diet, if it wasn't on prayer and fasting, just a basic water diet, just to lose weight, you'd find that you'd do that easily with no problem. You can go seven days, 10 days, 40 days, just on water, just to lose weight. People do it all the time, um, but they're not doing it to pray and fast. They just do it to lose weight. They do it with no problem. But the minute you call it prayer and fasting, that's a different fight altogether. Then you find it's difficult. Why? Because there are forces against you that don't want you prayer and fasting yield results so we're looking now at um today we're looking at just standing firm just stand firm stand your ground just insist be stubborn in your faith right uh, based on the scripture it says complete the, put on the complete armor of god so you'll be able to stand you'll be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger there are evil days for everyone there are evil days everybody faces those days when you think oh my goodness today i've been really tested to the last point everybody faces those days but you don't want in those tough days of testing of danger you don't want to lose your faith and give in to the devil you don't want to do that you want to stand your faith you want to stand your ground and insist on your faith okay and that's this is what we're looking at today um you know i remember i always testify about you know experiencing generational cases as a family i remember just how much generational cases make you weak they make you Um, unable to do anything even even at work like when you say today I have a list of jobs to do I need to complete these these are all the things I need to get done today you get up to try to do them you just can't it literally feels like something is causing you just you don't even want to do what you're supposed to do right do you ever wonder why that is some of you may have experienced that you get up and you say you know that today you have a whole list of errands to run but somehow you can't even get out of bed right that is not you that there is a spirit there is a force that is causing you to just sit still and be unable to get up and get things done to someone who's never suffered generational cases they may be listening and thinking well that's that's strange these things are real they happen um and so overall in uh, over a long length of time you're just unproductive you can't get anything done okay you can't even fight for yourself like you know that if i get up and go and 
sign this form and submit it to this office it will you know it will it will lead to such good things it will, even when you know that what you're supposed to do is going to lead to good things in your life somehow you can't even get yourself you can't motivate yourself to get things done even though mentally you know you need to do them but somehow you can't seem to get things done that's what generational cases will do for, do to you and the, the point is now to fight those and once you've fought them how do you maintain your status it's all about standing standing on the word of god standing on the promises of god and insisting on what god says in your life in order to make sure that you get things done the way that god um intended for you to so for you have to be clear on your relationship with god to start with right standing firm means first of all your mind is made up you're very clear if your mind is back and forth the bible calls it being blown to and fro like a wind uh, it calls it there's a word that the bible there's a phrase that the bible uses uh, but you're basically being tossed to and fro you you know your mind is 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 uh, uh what's it called i can't think of the phrase uh, but you're it means you're unstable in your thinking if your thinking is unstable if you've not made up your mind clearly to be with god you're not going to be able to stand against the kingdom of darkness you need to be absolutely decided that this is it for me this is it for me this is god you know i was just thinking the other day how the world says come out of your comfort zone you know that expression that says uh, come out of your comfort zone well i'm sorry but my comfort zone is god and i am not coming out of that comfort zone outside of god i am nothing outside of god i have nothing so you have to be very clear on your relationship with god i'm very clear that anything i want to get done with my life i'll never be able to do it without god there's just not two ways about it i've come to an age now where i can't be messing around and thinking i can do anything without god clearly i can't clearly my life hasn't worked out the way it should have because i try to do things outside of god i try to do things by myself it never works it never works so you need to be clear you need to make up your mind you need to be resolved in your relationship with god no matter what you face no matter what you see you need to be decided that you're going to stand up, stand with god end of story not two ways about it okay um and you you need to stand on god's promises on everything um you know if if you are not looking to achieve things in life through god's guidance there's a chance that the kingdom of darkness will come and offer you those things and once you take them from the kingdom of darkness they own you there's nothing for free in this world if you whoever you're taking things from whoever you're taking your blessings from or your favors from that's who you belong to so if you're taking your favors from the kingdom of darkness they're going to own you the bible says give no place to the devil even the smallest crack even the smallest crack of of compromise shut it down get rid of it because the devil will find a way to use that against you in future and keep you hostage again so make sure that everything you get you'd rather say i'm i'm just going to wait for god i want to buy a house in my life but if god doesn't give it to me then fine i'll never own a house because i don't want it from anywhere else but from god that's how you need to make up your mind so you need to just stand on god's promises on everything and sometimes the, the kingdom of darkness will try to discourage you and, and show you all sorts of scenarios that which which basically mean that you're never going to achieve what you want to achieve based on who you are and what you have in this world no remember you are waiting on the promises of god god can do things for you in ways that far far better ways than man can okay you can achieve you can buy a house uh, without a mortgage even you can just buy a house outright god can bless you like that even you who looks like you're never going to own a house god can do it for you uh, just hold on to his promises you don't know how he's going to do it he's going to do it one way or the other yours is not to question yours to, is to just wait for him to to bless you like he promised you he would right um standing means being active uh, and being off your seat and being in a defensive position when you're standing even look at the guards look at any guard uh, you know any security guard in any place look at soldiers um anywhere soldiers who are on guard right even at the border or wh wherever you can think of they stand up they don't just sit down waiting for danger to happen they are always in a standing position watching out and checking that no intruders are coming in that's how you should be about your life standing on the word of god standing always always thinking about the word of god in just ready if the kingdom of darkness even try anything you just hit them with the word of god just tell them just answer them with the word of god you've got to have an answer for the kingdom of darkness at all times okay um, and standing means setting boundaries this may make you unpopular with people from all relationships 
um you know it means even when people make you scared and they scare you and they intimidate you stand your ground set those boundaries and stand your ground in god thank you for listening god bless you have a lovely day goodbye